Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuvir. In this class, we will discuss about introduction to parsing. In our previous classes, we have given a good intuition about the syntax analysis phase. The concepts which we discussed previously will help you a lot in understanding this class. Please watch those classes and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class. So, introduction to parsing in compiler. Syntax analysis phase also called as parsing phase. In our last class, we discussed about how we are using context-free grammar in identifying the syntax of the given statements if statement whether it is syntactically correct or not loop statements whether it is syntactically correct or not expressions we have given context free grammar to find the expressions for following the precedence and uh, associative rules uh, how we are identifying the expressions whether it expression is syntactically correct or not uh, so that is what we are doing in syntax analysis phase the same thing we call it as a parsing phase same name syntax analysis phase we call it as a parsing parsing phase also now coming to let's quick refresh of a, a syntax uh, how we do expression evaluation identifying the expression is correct or not using this grammar this grammar was already discussed in our previous class this grammar is used to identify expressions so e tends to t e dash if you want to identify this expression a plus b star c we are going to use this grammar e is evaluated as e is expanded as t e dash t is expanded as f f is going to identify the identifier so a is identified after that e is e dash is evaluated to identify plus then t e dash like this we are going to elaborate this grammar and identifying the expressions whether they are syntactically correct or not so this is done this this intuition is provided previously so this whatever so the, the in the parsing phase the output generated in the parsing phase is this this tree is been generated this we call it as syntax tree or we can call it as parse tree or we can call it as derivation tree that's why it got the name parsing so the output generated in the, in the syntax analysis phase is a syntax tree or parse tree or derivation tree that's why we call the name in, uh, we call the name as a parsing also parse phase also now coming to the parsing parsing is a technique to construct parse tree for a given input string if you take this as this is the given input string parsing is a technique to construct this parse tree there are different techniques are there what's those techniques that we are going to understand today in our next coming classes we are going to we go step by step in understanding each and every technique so different types of parsing techniques are there top down and bottom up approach there are to, uh, mainly two of them top down and bottom up in the top down we are having two divisions again recursive non recursive in the recursive we are having two divisions with backtracking without backtracking in the non recursive we are having ll1 this is this we call it as a table driven method also in the bottom up we are having these four techniques lr of 0 lr of 1 clr of 1 lr of 1 so all these techniques will be what's the advantages what's the disadvantages how to overcome that uh, how bottom up parsing is helping us in overcoming the disadvantage that we found in top down approach uh, like that we will go step by step in our coming classes hope you understand the concept about uh, introduction to parsing if you have any questions regarding the concept please po post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you